Ezra Collective, Where I'm Meant to Be, is the second studio album from this jazz group who I've known for a while. I didn't listen to their first album, but Mercury Prize is coming, so I'm listening to this one. And yeah, it's a great record. I really, really enjoyed this album. It is a fun listen. It's an interesting listen. It's a gripping listen throughout, which I think is what you need with a jazz album. You don't want it to lull you or to keep it too safe. I think, you know, when jazz experiments, that's cool. But is it experimenting for the sake of it or is it experimenting to make things better? As I said, I don't think there's too much experimentation on this record, but there doesn't need to be. It's these people doing what they do best. And sometimes that's all you need. It's about over an hour. Um, none of the tracks really for me were like, okay, this is going on a bit. And there is some quite long songs on this record. Welcome to My World is one of them, but it keeps you intrigued and interested throughout the record. The features are used accordingly and correctly. Sam for the Great on the first track. Very good. Koji Radical. Great. Emily, Emily Sandy gives one of her best performances in a while on her track, and I think she's great. The use of that Georgia Smith sort of interpolation of Welcome to Jam Rock, but saying Ezra instead of Out in the Streets, they call it Murder. It's Out in the Streets, they call it Ezra. I like the different like pitches used throughout and the different vocal pages. I thought that was used well. And the closer with Nao. Oh, bloody brilliant. Nao has one of those voices that just makes you stand to attention every time you hear it. And the jazz and the voice combine. And they've got you in a chokehold. And that chokehold lasts from start to finish. And it's a phenomenal closer. It's When an album closes so magnificently, it, it leaves you with a sense of, Oh, I've got to come back to this at some point. The start, the close and the middle of every story, every album, everything you consume are very important. And they all need to hit to some degree. But this closes things so magnificently and it leaves it leaves an impact on you of like, damn, that was a good LP. But Ezra Collective are fantastic. The the brass, the drums, the guitars, instrumentally, they know what they're doing. They know they're good at it. And they do it phenomenally. The little interludes, I think, are cool with Steve McQueen and TJ. I think they add to sort of the purpose of this record and the point. Because this is mostly an instrumental album, so... On the, it, on the surface, you don't necessarily know the background to this, but from those interludes, from the guest features, you, you know what this project's going for. But yeah, this is a great record. I have a lot of love for it. I had a lot of fun. And I had a great time. And I will definitely be coming back to this record, whether the instrumental pieces like Welcome to My World or Victory Dance or whether the featured guests like Koji and Nao, because we all need a bit of Nao in our life, don't we? We all need a bit of Koji Radical in our life as well, to be fair. Phenomenal record, very much deserved its nomination. And yeah, I think this might be one of my favourites to win now. We'll see if it does, of course, but... If you have not listened to this record, go listen to it.